All right, boys, I'm going to show you all a little trick. I ain't been doing this but about three or four years. Uh, believe it or not, after I got in, uh, introduced to voltage drop testing, uh, I, that was kind of something come along late with me. And uh, I got introduced to it, and uh, I searched for a way to have enough load to put on a put on the battery and, uh, you know, check your starter cables and all that stuff. And so this is what I come up with. All I do is, is uh, I take a battery coaster, okay, and if I suspect a starter, what I'll do is I'll take the, the, the big cable off of the of the starter, I'll hook the toaster to that, the positive side, and then I'll come back around to, to the, wherever the ground is on the car, and I'll, I'll put the, the, the ground side of the toaster there. I've got it on the battery for, for, for this sake, because naturally I don't have it on a car. But, uh, and uh, I'll put it, that on the ground, and uh, basically what you're doing is you're voltage drop testing the battery and your cables. And what this test really shines is, is that white corrosion that gets under the insulation. Uh, you know, you can't see it, and you can feel it sometimes, but you don't know for sure, and all you can do is split the cable, and then, hell, you're in it, you're, excuse me, you're in it a cable then. You know, well, this test right here, it can't hide from that. I mean, it, that'll pick it off. Uh, it'll catch that, you know, and you can, you can install a cable with confidence, you know. So, uh, anyway, let me show you, let me show you a little bit how it works. I uh, you generally see it, this is my makeshift remote start cable. And that's what this knob's here for. I'm going to try to put some resistance in it. But all right, that battery's a little low, but we got 12.2. Okay, all I'm going to do is just, just hit the button. It's a 125-amp load. You hit it. Okay, I lose, lose down to about 11 volts. So I roughly lost about a volt. Volt, volt and a half. Yeah, that's normal. You can, I've gotten down to 10 before, but you got to start getting below 10, and you got problems. you got problems. And I do want to say, too, I do not check my if I got a battery cable going to the off the battery going to the uh, convenience center or the alternator feed. I do not check it this way, but I do take them loose from the convenience center, and I do take it loose from the uh, alternator. You know, I you know I don't know back feeding or I don't you know you don't just just take them loose and, and you know isolate this cable. This is what you're testing isolated. So anyway, I right, let me try to put a little resistance in here and see. This is going to be aggravating as hell. You can about imagine, but I'm going to try. Generally, what happens if you got a loose cable or something like that, it'll just open the circuit when you load it. That's usually what happens. Let's see what happens here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and load it with it loose. All right, it dropped down a little bit lower. It dropped down a little bit lower. Let me try it again. Yeah, you can see it dropping down a little bit more than it was. Now it's going to open. But generally, what you'll see is it'll just open the circuit. And uh, this going to be aggravating. But I'm not going to see him play with it because y'all understand what I'm doing right here. Y'all understand what I'm doing. But, uh, you know, like I said, a volt and a half is generally what you do. And, uh, and uh, you know, maybe a little more, but not much more. So, uh, anyway, but this is a good trick. And I, I've run it enough that this is basically the way I check starters now. Uh, if I suspect a starter, which, you know, I mean, it ain't rocket science, science to diagnose a starter in the parking lot. But uh, if I suspect a starter, I will go ahead and run this test, and if it passes this test, I have no problem picking up the phone and calling the parts house. I'm that confident in this, you know. But uh, I'm telling you, get your get your battery toaster out of the trash can. There is use for it after all, and uh, this is a really good trick. All right, boys, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, catch you later. Bye.